click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have understood that is what are the different methods to prepare ether and in this topic we are going to talk about the first point that is we are going to talk about the preparation of ether from alcohol. So now let us understand this topic very clearly. So friends, in this topic, we are going to talk about that is how we can prepare ether from alcohols. So talking about the first one, that is, suppose if we consider alcohol, that is ROH. So this is the general formula that I'm going to talk about and this is the general reaction also that I'm going to talk about. And later on, we are going to talk about the example related to this reaction. So this is ROH that I have considered. So this alcohol should be treated with concentrated sulfuric acid. So that is the reason that I'm writing over here as concentrated H2SO4. And the temperature that we should provide so that the reaction should occur and so that the dehydration should occur and so that we could get a ether is what is 413 Kelvin. So in this case, we are considering the alcohol in excess amount. So that's the reason that we are considering here as two moles of an alcohol that would be used and that would be treated with concentrated H2SO4 with a temperature of that is 413 Kelvin. So in this case, basically we could get ROR that is an ether along with that of that is water molecule. So this is the ether that we have obtained over here. But this ether that is what we have obtained is nothing but a simple ether. So this is how basically we can prepare a simple ether from an alcohol. So now let me tell you that is how only a simple ether can be prepared from this method. So as we have considered the excess amount of alcohol and obviously this is a process where the intramolecular dehydration process takes place and that is the reason that is within this molecule only that is within ROH and another ROH there will be a dehydration process and that's the reason that the ether that will be formed it will be simple ether that means the both the alkyl group that would be the same only and now let me give you an example and let me give you the number of steps that takes place during the conversion of an alcohol to an ether. So now let's start that also. So here I'm taking an example of ethanol. Suppose if we have ethanol that is C2H5OH. So this is the step number one that I'm talking about. So suppose if C2H5OH is treated with sulfuric acid that could be written as that is HOSO3H. So this is nothing but a concentrated sulfuric acid. So whenever the alcohol is basically treated with concentrated sulfuric acid and obviously we understand that this H and this OH they will be removed in the form of water that is H2 and the main product that we could get in the step number one is nothing but C2H5O this is SO3H that is ethyl hydrogen sulfate so this is what we have got over here and this is the one that is nothing but step number one that I'm talking about but in step number two that is I'm considering step number two so in the step number one, we have only considered that is one mole, that is the first alcohol that is what we have considered. And now what happens, that is the product that has been formed in step number one, that is will be involved. So the product that has been formed in step number one, that will be involved in step number two. So therefore, even we could write that the same thing that is C2H5OSO3H. And now we are introducing the second alcohol and the second alcohol is nothing but the same alcohol because we are considering the excess amount of alcohol. So that is the reason C2H5OH will react with this ethyl hydrogen sulfate and that's the reason that the product that we will get is nothing but C2H5O and again this is nothing but C2H5 plus the rest of the product that is this thing this is H even this is H so therefore H2SO4 it will be removed as a byproduct. So this is how basically we can convert an alcohol to an ether and the ether that has been formed is nothing but a simple ether. But this kind of reaction is also known as continuous etherification reaction. The reason behind that is suppose if we have considered an alcohol and suppose if we are treating with H2SO4 then obviously with the help of these steps we will get to know that is H2SO4 is also being liberated at the end of the reaction. So that's the reason that this H2SO4 it can also be treated with the rest of the other alcohols that are being present in the container or that are being present in a beaker. So in this case basically this H2SO4 it will react with other alcohol molecules and thereby converting them into the respective hydrogen that is ethyl hydrogen sulfate and that ethyl hydrogen sulfate will be reacted with other alcohols so as to obtain the ether. So therefore and again we will get an H2SO4. So thereby 
this process it goes on continuing and this process stops until all the alcohol is been converted into an ether so this is how basically it is known as continuous etherification reaction so that was related to some steps that is step number one and step number two so this was one of the method where we can convert an alcohol to an ether but there is another method also from which we can convert an alcohol into ether so now let me explain that also so the other method where we can convert an alcohol into an ether is a reaction with diazomethane. So now let me give you the general reaction for this one. Suppose if we have an alcohol that is ROH and suppose if we are treating it with diazomethane that is nothing but CH2 N2. So the reaction proceeds in such a manner that is this N2 it will be evolved and the CH2 that will be moved along with this hydrogen atom and the product that we could get is nothing but ROCH3. So in this method basically we can prepare a methoxy ether or we can prepare a methoxy alkane. So for example if I talk about an example that is suppose if we have considered that is C2H5OH and suppose if I am treating it with diazomethane that is CH2N2 then the reaction proceeds in such a manner that is this N2 it will be evolved at the end of the reaction and the product that we could get is nothing but C2H5O and this is CH2 obviously it will come over here so as to form that is CH3. So the product that we have got here is nothing but methoxyethane. But obviously this reaction will happen in presence of that is HBF4. And obviously we have to give a particular temperature to that also. And then only the reaction will proceed and then only we will get a methoxy alkane. So this was one of the method where we can prepare a methoxy ethane or we can prepare a methoxy alkane. So in the previous example we have discussed about that how we can prepare a simple ether. But now in this method by doing this method we can prepare a mixed ether also. So this was related to the conversion of an alcohol to an ether as well as we have discussed about uh, so in this case we have discussed about that is how we can convert an alcohol into ether so this were the two methods where we can prepare ether from alcohol so that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe eager channel thank you so much